Hey guys, TechEthic here, and today we have another video for you. Today we're going to be talking about the Life Trek watch. Now, actually, this isn't how it comes, but I have this band here, which I will switch out just to show you guys, just for showing purposes. This is the band that it. This is the band here that it originally, the green with the black on the outside, as you can see here. It comes with the adjustable, adjustable thing here. Adjustable st a thing. Adjustable band here. It's by Life Trek. It's pretty basic. Now you can see here that the little slot here for the uh, for the wristband, two section. It's not one. So you slide this out, and then you take this sec. You take the other color section that you want. This one's red on the outside, but I guess if you wanted red on the inside, I guess you could flip it around. But I just like to have it with the red on the outside and switch it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the red in there. And there you go. I just left it like green green and black and red. Because right here, as you can see, this is a little bit chipping off for me. I accidentally hit something. Something grabbed under here and this clipped it up. So now all that will be holding for those, these two holes down here will be this small piece right here so yeah that's why I have they mix these two instead of just the green because that's kind of boring so I made it look a little bit better now here's the watch display as you can see it's uh I haven't had to change the battery life in like a year we've had it for a year or whatever I've had it for a year and I haven't had to change the battery life in forever it says the battery life here the battery right here Oh, it doesn't say, but it says that it's water resistant to 30 meters and all that FCC stuff and uh, all that. This is the Lifetrack Move. Lifetrack Move. Uh, yeah, I saw a C100 somewhere, but uh, obviously not. Now, here's your display. Here's your two buttons. This bu upper button just switches between hourly, all your days, and the workouts, how, how, how much you've walked or ran or whatever. This bottom button here is just hold to sync to Bluetooth, and then you do that, and then it starts syncing. You can just press it to disable the Bluetooth if you don't want. And this works with phones. I tried to download the app on my tablet for it, and it's, well, it says not compatible with your device for tablets. So it's obviously for phones. And I have uh, looked it up on my phone, and I can't do it with my phone. And But this button here switches between... You have calories, steps, uh, miles you've walked on the road, and back to calories. You say, why did it skip heart? Well, if you go like this and you hold your thumb on it, it's going to do the blood pressure. You can see it's getting 91 right now. What if I start breathing? <laughs> Yeah, so you went down to 157. So you can see that's a uh, major difference there. And um, let's see here. Uh, next, uh, next thing we can do is just said to configure your settings up here is this top button right here. You hold this top button, and then what you do it says goal, time, and advantage. So we're just going to go to goal and select goal, select step, distance, and calories. You can select all you want, I'll click step, and then there you can set the how many steps, 10,000, whatever, next, 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 and we'll just scroll through, and it takes you back. We'll hold this button again, now let's go to time, oh, actually, ADV is advanced, I'm sorry, you can set the time, currently it is 11.04, so yeah, it will. That's uh, pretty accurate. So next, next hour, you can set the year here. Twenty sixteen. It is for the ninth and uh, month. You can set the format here. You can set it to day, month, month, day. Twelve hour format or twenty four hour format. Now let's head into advanced options. Let's scroll down to advanced and select. You can select your gender. I'm of course male. You can set your birth here. I'll select that and also you can select your birthday you can select your birthday here you can select your your birthday which is uh, I won't say it and you can also select a unit imperial metric I just like imperial because I know that one 
weight and a height. I'm obviously taller than that. Five eight, five feet eight inches. I'm a lot taller than that, so I haven't changed that in a while. But this is the Life Check watch. Um, so let's strap it on my wrist. So you guys can see what it looks like. I am right-handed, and my parents said it should be on your left hand. Well, I can't stand that. I have to have something on my right wrist. If something's on my right, and I can have something on my left, like Casey Neistat with two watches. Anyway, here, here, here is how it looks. Look, it's kind of small, so you can expect not to be hitting it too much. You can see I just scratched the screen a little bit there, but no, that doesn't. That's not a problem for me. I can I can still see the screen. I mean, I won't have to change the batteries out forever. I could get in there really easy with the um, the small screwdriver and switch out the batteries, and hope nothing falls out in the process. Now, before I before I was worried about having splashing water on this, cause like getting in these little buttons here. But it is water resistant, and so I'm not as worried about that. So when I do the dishes, I just take it off anyway when I do the dishes. Uh, but when I do anything else, then I water whatever water projects, water splashes on it, then I'm not worried about that. Uh, you can also set a stopwatch here. Well, not set a stopwatch, but it's kind of like um, how far you run. You can see here uh, 0 0.28 miles. Let's just hold this to reset. And you can see how far you've walked and how much time. So start, and then you can start running, and you'll see you have an average time of how far you ran. Then you stop it, and it'll stop how many workout miles you did, and it'll show the time to how long it took for you to do those workout miles. And I think that's basically about it. And if you guys have any other questions, then just feel free to holler and all that sort of stuff. I mean, uh, please be sure to subscribe also, and you can also on a desktop or a tablet, click the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one.